Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It's Trixie here with Picatrix. I am going to be getting <clears throat> a May of 2023 reading going for you. Scorps, you got something to say? My throat's all like ready to talk. Um, Scorpio, I feel happiness and joy in the month of May. Lots of pleasure for you. Um, I have at the Mystical Moments here, it has 83 cards in the deck. So you're going to see a masculine and a feminine for the kings as well as the emperor. Excuse me. I'm going to pull a card for each week of the month of May. Please keep in mind, I am not a licensed physician, so if you're not feeling well, seek out your general practitioner. Um, and as always, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, as well as checking out all of your big four. I will clarify the mystical moments and go a little deeper with the sun and moon tarot. And I'll close out each week with the mystical moments and close out the entire reading with the sun and moon tarot. <clears throat> so we do... We are in what uh, a lot of astrologers are calling a an eclipse sandwich. We have a lunar eclipse in Scorpio during May. <clears throat> Let me see here. Let me see here. <sighs> Lots of Mars energy. So taking action here, Scorps. Um, we have our four cards. All right, those want to flip flop. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles in the masculine energy. So um, there's a need for you to step outside some sort of comfort zone, some sort of conditioning, a way of doing life that has worked for you for a very, very long time. I'm going to set these over here, even though the other readings, I was able to set them on the armchair. I don't feel like you're that agile right now or capable of like catching something if it were to fall. And in May, the universe really wants you to be careful. Um, the King of Cups for your first week here, being careful, steering your ship, um, tapping into your feminine energy, asking your higher self and your intuition uh, for assistance, knowing that you are in a divinely timed location in the first week of the month. And it leads to some sort of knowledge or wisdom step that you need to take in the second week of the month, independently of other people. You probably are going to hermit out in the third week of the month reflect, go within, see the success that you had in the second week of the month, and how do you expand on that? How do you make that a part of your divine purpose? Um, Five of Pentacles, <clears throat> in the fourth week of the month, you might have some Aquarius energy in your big four. I recommend going and checking that out. Um, the fives in the fourth week of the month have really brought in change, in positive change. They have allowed you to have what is negatively cast into your life, um, highlighted by the end of the month is really what I'm picking up for May. There's some insight and wisdom coming in here for you. And I actually see here, Scorpio, where you're going to have to take a couple steps backwards because, um, I do feel like a doorway is opening up here with this King of Cups here. Um, that's you. So whether you're masculine or feminine watching this, um, you are in control of your own world. You have your heart in alignment with divine purpose. And I feel like you're getting your mind on board with that. Wow, you have another nine of pentacles out here. You have the star in reverse. Wow. And then you have a page of pentacles and a king of pentacles in reverse. So... That reiterates that you have been doing something for a very, very long time. And in the first week of the month, emotionally, you're going to get checked. <clears throat> and um, you are going to realize that where you're at in life in the first week of the month looks nothing like what you would like your life to look like. And whatever is missing in your life that you have not attained, that you have not acquired, is directly related to your purpose. Um, what do I mean by this? I actually watched, I'm obsessed with Big Bang, Big Bang Theory and comic books. And um, last night I watched an episode where Penny had to teach Sheldon that the thing that scared him the most was focusing on his relationship with Amy. And we know later down the line that he gets married to Amy and he wins a Nobel Prize with Amy. That there is something about an energy in your life that you are currently connected to that is nothing like what you wish it, what your life would look like. For Sheldon, he had spent 30, 35 years on his life on string theory, all by himself, independently. 
And I see that here for you, Scorpio. And there's a relationship in your life or not in your life that you need to seek out that if you started to focus on intimate connections a lot more in the first week of the month and you shed a type of relationship that you are very dependent on, and this may very well be a masculine figure. Um, if you're a masculine, this could be somebody you're dating or somebody that's like a third party that always blocks your relationships. I see you waking up here, Scorpio, in the first week of the month and recognizing the blockage. What it is that you spend entirely too much time focused on, and because you spend time on that, you're not able to focus on what it would um, be that would be healthy for you emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, regardless of whether or not you're a spiritual human, to uh, advance in your life in all areas. The North Star in reverse really tells me that there is something that you seek, that you are desiring, that you are wishing for, but because you and another person are not on the same page that is currently in your life that you need to let go of, you are never going to attain that North Star. And Penny teaches Sheldon in that episode that he has to cut all ties with string theory. And when he decides to cut his ties with string theory and focus on his girlfriend, whatever the girlfriend is in your life right now, Scorpio, he will attain all of his life's dreams by focusing on that new thing. And so there's something here. I'm getting sweaty and hot and clammy like I want a hair tie because I'm, I, I, I feel how you guys are uncomfortable. You are worried and fearful about going in the direction that you feel called to go down. But when you finally admit to yourself, Scorpio, that you do know what you desire, you are very much in control of your life and you are very capable of cutting the tie, cutting the cord with string theory and focusing on whatever Amy means to you. It might be a relationship. Um, right now, I see a lot of you watching this are single and you're independent in some capacity. This could be where like in business, you wish for your business to expand um, but in order for it to expand, you have to be willing to partner with somebody that's going to bring in other ideas and other thoughts and going to make you reevaluate the vision and um, compromise. And this is something here where until you're capable of recognizing that things don't always have to be your way, that other people bring things to your life that are positive um, and that you you can benefit from, you will continue to be in this independent state where you're almost like struggling uh, to bring forth some type of wish come true into your life simply out of stubbornness. The king of pentacles, as much as he has attained his entire life through uh, structure and consistency, he also gets to a point where he's comfortable and he has to step outside that comfort zone. So <clears throat> let's see what the second week of the month is. That first week is really powerful for you. Four of pentacles. Yeah, stepping outside a comfort zone with the nine of pentacles. Literally taking a step outside of a comfort zone. Oh my gosh. You've been holding on to something for a very long time. A way of doing life. And now it's gonna die. It doesn't work anymore. It can't go forward with you the way that it is right now. Oh, that made me nauseous. Yeah, you're being oppressed. Whatever this princess of pentacles and this king of pentacles in reverses in the first week of the month, it's oppressing you. It's keeping you on lockdown. It's keeping you strapped. It's keeping you from succeeding. Three of pentacles. Ending a contract. Not working with somebody anymore. Not working with some type of energy that's very burdensome. It's, it's heavy. It's exhausting. Um, every time that you engage with this energy, you have to harvest your own harvest like all by your damn self. Um, you're alone a lot here, Scorpio. Um, and I feel like that has a lot to do with some emotional turmoil that you are avoiding. You're not allowing yourself to face some sort of obstacle that if you were to go within and you were to address what it is that the, that like, let me backpedal. So a four and a three equals seven. Um, I spent seven years separating myself from a particular person in my life. And that's a very long time. 
Um, and, but that's what toxic relationships do. Um, when you're in toxic settings or toxic relationships, Scorpio, it takes years to separate yourself, to save the money, to remove the financial codependency, to um, get out of the circumstance. It's not something that can just come overnight where you just wake up one day and you ghost a circumstance. You have to be strategic. And I see here, Scorpio, where there's strategy being presented to you. And yes, it's going to be very, very heavy. Um, but you are going to have to focus on the doodads. You're going to have to focus on the things that are working. And as you focus on those things, the, the relationship, and it may be addiction, it may be a person, it may be a career, it may be a line of education that you've been focused on for years, but the more that you learn in that area of study, you're realizing it doesn't feel like your purpose. This is something where you've given a lot of time and attention to something. You've given your all to it even, and you're starting to realize that this is not what you signed up for, and it's quite the burden. How Now how, Scorpio, do you remove yourself from this circumstance? I actually recently learned that an, um, somebody I used to be friends with that's a Scorpio got married to a Cancer. And in that relationship for like seven or eight years, everybody outside of that relationship could see how toxic that relationship was. And they recently got married. And it's like, why? You are so miserable. Why did you say I do? And it came down to finances, security. And I feel like Scorpio, that's a metaphor for your life. There's some level of security and the consistency that you have been committing to. And now it's time for you to face the music and recognize that now you've got to get all your ducks in a row. And those ducks, I don't know if you've ever tried to get ducks in a row, but the only person that can ever really get baby ducklings in a row is the mama duck. There's something here about you are the mama duck and you have all these ducklings that you need to get in line, Scorpio. And when you finally get them all in line, and it's going to take a minute, this could take months or years, um, and step outside that comfort zone. Yes, is it going to be a burden? Yeah, are you going to have to have difficult conversations? Yeah, but this is here to strengthen you. It's here to give you more purpose, to give you more happiness. What's this hermit in the third week of the month? The Empress in reverse. Yeah, see, and the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's just some... You might have a Virgo in your life that you're attached to, um, like codependent of, and you need to step away from that relationship. You need to do things with new people. You need to experience things with your peers. You need to spend time with people that are within your decade, like five years older, five years younger at the most. You need to get healthy relationships in your life where you actually get peer review, where you see yourself through the lens of other people and you get to see other people that are your age in a new lens. Yeah, head over heart decision, the lovers. The king of wands in reverse and the empress in reverse. Uh, I do see a loss of resources here in the month of May. I'm really sorry. Taurus, uh, you know, this Mercury retrograde in Taurus is really slowing us down in the month of May. It's asking you, you have all these tools, all these worse resources at your beck and call. Spirit has been telling you what it is that you are at odds with. Uh, what are you going to do with that knowledge? What are you going to do with it? Or are you going to sit in stagnation and just keep, keep taking the hits to keep, keep dealing with the drama? This is five of pentacles. The king of wands in reverse is somebody who worked really hard to get out of poverty and change their socioeconomic status and they lost everything due to the empress in reverse pro procrastination. And when you finally with the lovers make the head over heart decision to take accountability and responsibility for your own life, you can attain that wealth again. I just see like a leech here. Justice in reverse with the five of pentacles, the three of wands, and the nine of cups in reverse. Yeah. You know, Scorpio, something's not going in your favor. Something's not turning out in your, in your favor. 
And um, until you walk down the path that scares you the most, you make the choice to uh, recognize that it's time for you to stop procrastinating um, and step outside some sort of comfort zone. You're going to continue to have justice go in other people's favor. You're going to continue to see loss. Man, this is a totally different reading than the other readings I've done today. Goodness, Scorpio, what are you going through? I'm so sorry. Um, it's time for you to wake up and smell the roses and recognize where you've been wearing some rose-colored glasses. And we don't even have the two of wands here. This is really a challenging you, this energy, to, to, to put in the work, to recognize that um, you don't have to do life all on your own, but you do have to start listening to your higher self so that you can call in the soul tribe that's going to support you in, in your wishes coming true. You have 999 here. You are at the end of some lesson. It is divinely orchestrated for you. I feel like this is the last time. Ooh, I like that. Hold on. Um, This is the last time. I'm hearing that pretty strongly. Nine of wands. You have more. Another nine. Uh... uh Nine of Wands is clarifying this uh, King of Cups, this Nine of Pentacles, You, this star in reverse, the King and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. There's, just, It's like you're... How do I explain this? Um, I, okay, so I know somebody that's a Scorpio, and I reached out to them at the beginning of this year. We had had a real falling out, like things ended really dramatically. Um, last summer and I wanted to just clear the air and in and I think I brought this up to you guys before when I um, reached out to this person I had spent a good portion of the distance between us uh, healing what had happened and really going within and therapy and, and journaling and with spirit and figuring out what it was that I did that led to that ending but when I had a conversation with this person um, I realized that they were pretty much where I left them. And I kind of feel like here, Scorpio, you have an opportunity to look at somebody and evaluate the time that you have spent with them, whether that's a couple weeks, well, it's probably like a few years that you have had this person in your life, like three at minimum. And they just, nothing about them has really changed. They're the same person they they dabble in the same things and this may very, very well be you but it's like time for change there's time for a really big change um and I'm kind of shocked we don't see the tower that might come in in June for you but it's like there is there's like a completion you have nine of pentacles nine of pentacles nine of wands you have um the hermit here you have the nine of cups here like, what is it that you're avoiding? Because there's a completion of cycle here if you're willing to wake up and realize that this is opportunity being presented to you to change the outcome, to change yourself, to change the behavior, um, to stop making excuses. The Nine of Wands is really asking you to put in the work to recognize that, yeah, you, there are downs in life, but there are only going to be ups when you decide to take the step towards the up. King of Swords here in the second week of the month. What is it that you're weaving into the fabric of your life? What is it that you need to commit to? What is it that you need to harvest? What is it that you need to pour your soul and your heart and your mind into and reach out and take that leap of faith? And if you don't believe in faith, then what are you doing watching a tarot read? Yeah. Yeah. The Emperor came out with the Hermit. King of Wands, the Empress, the Emperor, the Lovers. A lot of you are sitting in this masculine energy. You're like hardcore in a lesson that you need to balance out your energy. You need to step into, you have a feminine King of Swords. Okay. You have an empress in reverse and you have a masculine emperor from a deck that does have a feminine emperor. You're in a very masculine energy. And it's time for you to nurture and create and go into your more feminine side and 
focus on your higher self and, and get the downloads and uh, spend time in meditation. You need to uh, collaborate and work with energies that kind of scare you. What's this five of pentacles, justice in reverse, three of wands, nine of cups in reverse? Three of pentacles. So what isn't in your life in the second week of the month by the third week of the month? I do see here where you are going to attain it. It is going to bring a lot of bliss and happiness into your life, but it is going to ask you to partner with some party that kind of scares you and I feel like they are going to have the upper hand that's what justice is in reverse um there's there's some type of energy that you are going to connect with and collaborate with a couch just walked past me um so it's like uh there's insight and wisdom being presented to you and you need to take it stop ignoring it that's you ignoring yourself and uh, move forward blissfully, happily. You have eight of cups and a ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. When you walk down the path of least resistance, the path that scares you the most, and you address your ego, Scorpio, and say, hey, I see you, I hear you, but I got time for that. That path opens up wider and wider and wider, and it gets easier and easier. Okay, let's close out this whole reading from the Sun and Moon Tarot. a card here sticking out the ten of swords yeah you know exactly what is dead gone and over let it go stop giving it attention okay and move on yeah ten of pentacles in reverse your legacy is trying to present itself to you but you are so focused on what isn't working that you are not seeing what is so um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please check out all of your big four. I hope that this helped. And as always, thank you for subscribing as well as hitting that thumbs up button down below.